This washer repair guide gives step-by-step -step instructions for replacing the drive motor in a common style of top load washer. During the agitation and spin portions of the wash cycle, the drive motor rotates a belt attached to the drive system pulley. The pulley transfers the motor's rotating motion to the spin basket and agitator. If the motor doesn't rotate when it receives a signal from the control board, replace it with a manufacturer-approved replacement part. Before you begin, wear work gloves to protect your hands. Have someone help you move the washer away from the wall. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Turn off the water supply valves for the washer. Pull the drain hose out of the standpipe behind the washer. Move the washer away from the wall so you can reach the fill hoses and drain hose. Mark which fill hose goes to the hot connector and which goes to the cold. Using channel lock pliers, carefully loosen and remove both fill hoses. Expect some water to pour out. Tip. Wipe up water spills with a towel to prevent slipping. Carefully tilt the washer forward and lay it on the front panel so that you can access the components from the bottom of the washer. Remove the bolts that secure the plastic cover over the motor and drive components. Pull the plastic cover off of the washer and set it aside. Pull the drive belt outward and rotate the large drive pulley to work the belt off the motor. Remove the drive belt and set it aside. Pull the wire harness out of the connection plug on the motor. Remove the bolts that secure the drive motor to the bottom of the washer. Remove the motor. Position the new drive motor in place and install the mounting bolts. Tighten the mounting bolts firmly. Plug the wire harness into the connection on the new drive motor. Make sure that the wire harness plug is firmly seated in the connection on the motor. Position the drive belt properly on the smaller motor pulley and stretch the belt across the top of the larger drive pulley. Start on one side of the pulley and roll the belt onto the drive pulley by rotating the drive pulley as you push the belt down onto the side of the drive pulley. Position the plastic cover on the top of the motor and drive components. Line up the mounting holes and insert the mounting bolts. Tighten the bolts firmly. Carefully set the washer in an upright position and move it close enough to the fill hoses so that you can reconnect them. Thread the fill hoses onto the connectors on the back of the washer. Tighten the connections firmly using a pair of channel lock pliers. Put the drain hose back in place and turn on the water supply valves. Tighten the connection if you find a slight leak. Plug the washer into the electrical outlet. Return the washer to its original location. With the washer shut off and the basket empty, no water or close, and the lid closed, enter the diagnostic mode. Turn the control dial one complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Quickly, within about six seconds, turn the control dial three clicks clockwise, one click back, and one click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, turn the control dial one complete rotation counterclockwise to reset the control and then try again, this time turning the knob faster. In the diagnostic mode, select the calibration cycle by turning the control dial four clicks clockwise. When the rinse light turns on, press start and begin the calibration cycle, which runs for two to three minutes. When the calibration cycle ends, the lid unlocks and the washer shuts off.